Scooter Braun has commented on his previous acquisition of Taylor Swift's master recordings, which has led the pop star to begin the process of re-recording her first six albums. His comments can be found in his recent interview with Variety Magazine, appearing on the cover as the magazine named Braun, longtime manager of Justin Bieber and Ariana Grande, its music mogul of the year. In his interview, he discussed his Ithaca Holdings purchase of Big Machine Label Group in June 2019, where he acquired the master recordings of Swift's first six albums for an estimated $300 million. Upon Braun's initial purchase, Swift publicly declared her disdain for the deal. Speaking on the acquisition to Variety, Scooter said, I regret and it makes me sad that Taylor had that reaction to the deal. All of what happened has been very confusing and not based on anything factual. Adding, I don't know what the story she was told. I asked for her to sit down with me several times, but she refused. I offered to sell her the catalog back and went under NDA, but her team refused. It all seems very unfortunate. Open communication is important and can lead to understanding. He also went on to say that he's only met Swift three or four times and felt their interactions were always very friendly. Swift had earlier addressed the sale of her masters in a letter she posted on Twitter in November 2020, confirming she entered into negotiations with Braun and his team, but that she was first presented with an ironclad NDA, and I quote Swift, that would silence me forever before I could even have a chance to bid on my work. Braun's team refuted her claim to Variety in the news story and stated that negotiations Negotiations had started in earnest, but the sentiment toward the 40-year-old music mogul regarding the deal has been anything but earnest, as the loyal Swifties took to social media to label him a bully after the acquisition. On the topic of Swifties coming after him, Braun told Variety, The thing that struck me the worst is the word bully. I'm firmly against anyone ever being bullied. I always try to lead with appreciation and understanding. The 11-time Grammy-winning singer released the first of the six re-recorded albums in April, a new version of her sophomore album and first Billboard 200 number one album dubbed Fearless, Taylor's version, which debuted at number one last week. Last week, the pop superstar announced her blockbuster 2012 album Red will be the second album she will re-record and release due out November 19th. All right, for more on this story, you can head to Billboard.com. And until next time, for Billboard News, I'm Chelsea Briggs.